So this idea of 100% certainty is pretty much a useless red herring. There's virtually nothing that we know with 100% certainty. Outside of esoteric labels and things like that, um, logical absolutes, there's nothing that you're going to get 100% certainty about this. This is the problem of hard solipsism. You can't prove that you're not right. in the matrix. You can't prove you're not a brain in a vat. Um, right. Although I, I tend to think that there's good arguments against that, uh, not the least of which is that it would be incredibly arrogant of me to presume that I've written in my head every great song and great poem and, uh, you know, and also all the crappy ones too, uh, you know. So it, okay. it's, 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 it's more plausible, and, and as a matter of practical necessity, I have to act as if there are other minds because that's what I directly experience. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the problem is with this absolute certainty because, first of all, um, atheism isn't necessarily the claim that there are no gods, and it's certainly not, even to the extent that it is, um, for some, it's not the claim that we're absolutely certain that there are no gods. Um, right. It's about what, which beliefs are justified. And what I think you were talking about a minute ago was, you know, you, you acknowledge that you're making an assumption and you don't see what the problem is with that. And the problem is that in order to be intellectually honest, you would have to make, or consistent, you would have to make similar assumptions for other similar categories, which would put you in a position of cognitive dissonance where you are simultaneously accepting contradictory and mutually exclusive claims. If, if you have no good justification, for example, for believing that the God of the Bible exists, then that's, if you're gonna be intellectually consistent, you have to have to apply that justification, and I put that in scare quotes, to every other God that comes along, which means you would need to believe all of them too. And if you're only right. gonna believe one as opposed to the others, now you're engaged in a big old fallacy of special pleading. And so right. the, the intellectually honest thing is to reject all of those and say, I do not believe any of these until one of them meets good standards of evidence. And, and right. belief should be reserved until that happens.